Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So the big challenge with the web right now is there's no semantic data. We can see web pages, but there's information that's seemingly surfaced underneath it that isn't easily surfaced without, well, more intelligent software. And then when you layer on top of that the complexities of video processing, how's video going to get semantic? How are you going to extract data out of a video? Well, some people in Germany have figured it out, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'd like to introduce you to a couple of friends. Yeah. This is Jörg. Jörg and Nadine. Nadine. And they're part of a team that has put together a product which hasn't shipped yet, uh, but they're working on it possibly towards the end of next year. I think it would be something that YouTube might want to buy. <laughs> and to better explain it, uh, I'm going to hand it over. So yeah, is that a good setup? Or it was it perfect. Okay. <laughs> Great. So this computer, I can show you this, uh, the yeah. Solantic Media Explorer. It's a sort of an intelligent video search engine. Sure. If you're doing video analysis, such as uh, optical character recognition within the video and uh, speech recognition within the video audio stream. And um, I can show it to you if you come yeah. here. Finally, from all this metadata we have extracted, we can um, detect persons, events, and places within the video transcript. And this makes it possible to filter like uh, in an intelligent way. For example, if I look for um, Mecklenburg, so imagine a video archive, that's what they've got right now. Yeah. yeah. And so you're searching for a keyword. Yeah, it's a video archive and you're looking for a keyword. And the system asks us, what do you mean exactly? Do you mean a village or do you mean uh, a state or do you mean uh, a person? So the, the system can ask for the meaning of, the, of what you are um, entering as such term. So it helps you find what yeah. you're looking for, unlike a lot of the search engines today, which you know you can type in one word that has ambiguous meaning and yeah. get a billion results that don't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. So this system can filter much more fast. When I select this, um, the results are reduced to this um, ent semantic entity, and um, I can use faceted filters to reduce and filter the results much more. Now imagine exploring, again, yeah. this isn't a YouTube product, it's not built for YouTube, <laughs> but imagine using something like this on YouTube to help narrow down results, even down to the different mappings of the context. Yeah, yeah. So like these, these, I assume, cities or locations? Those are locations, persons, persons, events, and other things. So you can actually scan face detection in video. We are doing face detection too, I didn't um, say that. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Well, I, well, I see on the, yeah. on the sign over here it says face detection. But so. um, currently the development is not that, much, that far that we can demonstrate to you. Okay, that, and that's fine, but yeah. you're heading that direction. Yeah, that's sure, good. sure, of course. Yeah, okay, um, so we can filter the results very fast. And when I click on those results, I can see the video scenes or a segmentation of the scenes. I can see all entities I found or semantic entities I found so these, within the video. These semantic entities, are they defined by machine or by human? They are found found by machine, okay. by, by the algor algorithms of um, named entity recognition, which we are using. And uh, when I click, for example, on Rostock, we see that there's an optical character rec recognition hit. Mm -hmm. So when you I clicked click on a tag, essentially, yeah. and jumped to a part of the video that was tagged semantically for that particular keyword. Yeah. Another point, for example, fishing, and I can click on it and the system automatically found that this is a video about, a video scene about some, something about fishing, yeah. That's okay. wild. <laughs> and that's all driven by machine. Yeah, it's wow. just a full automatic system. And you have OCR in video there? Yeah. So optical OCR, character yeah. recognition. I can show you an example on the optical character recognition. And, see, and again, this stuff is simple. Well, I'm not going to say simple but easier with plain text to take it to the level of video just adds a complexity of a million. This is a summarization, a visual summarization of the whole video, the entire video, and we select some frames automatically which contain text. And uh, when I select one of those frames, you can see huh. this demonstration. This is a map and there are city names on this map and we found those text occurrences within the frame very efficiently. Finally, we can uh, enhance the image to enhance the contrast and uh, make the quality better. And uh, finally, we can use a state-of-the-art optical character recognition to, find, uh, to recognize the text. And if this fails, like on this um, example, okay. we make another processing to uh, compare it to a dictionary to find out the right word. 
And uh, this is the optical character recognition. It sounds simple. For me, it's simple, but... <laughs> no, I, I can tell you, that's a, a whole bunch okay. of complex sitting yeah. right there. Yeah, that's it. Thanks a lot. So this is part of uh, the HPI? This is part of our Institute HPI. Okay. Yeah. And this software is inter gets integrated into a product named um, Media Globe. Okay. Media Globe is a product which um, is, is specialized on creating um, semantic search engines for archives and TV stations or TV broadcasters to enhance the um, file-based um, access to uh, video databases.